In this video we're going to talk about how awesome GitHub is and more specifically we're going to talk about three cool things that you can do in GitHub and these things are some things that I really appreciate. They make my life a little bit easier and more joyful as I spend many hours every day in various GitHub repositories. So the first thing I want to show you is keyboard shortcuts and GitHub has a lot of different keyboard shortcuts that you can take a look at and learn some of them if you think they sound useful and the one I use the most is the file search and the way it works is that you just type T in your keyboard and you get this search prompt here and let's say I want to find the index.php file for the 2015 theme so I can type 25th should be enough and then index.php and now we have it here on the top so I can just type enter bam and then I have it right here so that's a really nice command if you're in the root of the repository if you want to find a file just hit T and then just start typing and then GitHub is going to find it for you and there's actually a ton of keyboard shortcuts and if you want to get a list of all of them you can just type a question mark you see the most common ones here and you can press show all and here you see all the shortcuts that's available on github.com and I think it's really impressive the amount of shortcuts they have so you can take a look at these and see if some of them are useful to you. The next awesome thing on github I wanted to show you is the github markdown syntax that you use in issues and pull requests and it's really awesome the way you can format issues in GitHub and do a lot of cool things. So let's create a new issue and just call it there is a bug and just write some lorem ipsum here. And let's say we wanted to make a checklist, like some a few things that we needed to fix before we considered this bug fixed. The way you do that on GitHub is Normally in Markdown when you make a list you can use uh, asterisks like this and then if you type these square brackets like this and like this you can see here in the preview you get checkboxes so let's submit the, the new issue you can of course also use labels and milestones and you can assign it to people and we can use these checkboxes just as we would expect if we mark this as checked and we refresh the page of course it's still checked we can uncheck it again the syntax you use here uh, in the issue tracker is called github markdown and it's really powerful and if you click here you can see um, some tutorials and examples of all the stuff you can do with the formatting on the issues and the pull requests and the vkeys and all the places that they use github markdown the third thing I want to show you is how we can reference specific commits and issues from within the issue tracker. And as an example, this issue has the number three. And let's say we wrote some code here locally that we're going to fix the bug. So we can just add a line here. And if we commit this and we say fixed the bug, we can use this syntax to automatically from our commit message close the issue. Uh, so all we need to do is to reference the issue like this, fixes issue number three, committed. And since I use a, a transparent shell, you can actually see the status of the issue update live while I do this. So if I run git push and you look here at the open tag in the background, boom, it's closed and it happens in real time. And I think it's really amazing all the stuff that GitHub allows you to do. You can see here in the issue there's even a reference to the commit that we just did that fixed the bug. And all this stuff that GitHub can do really blows my mind and makes me really happy GitHub customer. And I think that's all for this video. So once again, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.
Bye, bye, no, 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 no